that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, so also you should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. As we take a few moments just to reflect on these verses, I'd like to start by thinking about biographies. Does anyone here enjoy a, a good biography? I'm more of a non-fiction person myself, so a biography is probably the closest that I would enjoy um, to, a, to a novel. I read a really interesting um, commentary, uh, explanation on biographies recently. It was by an author called John Mark Comer, and he writes about practicing the way of Jesus. And he makes this point. When we pick up biographies, that's often because in, in some way we respect, we like the person that we are wanting to read about. And in some way we want to emulate them. And so we read stories about how did they react to life and we take inspiration from them. But then he makes the point, often we don't do that in the way we approach the Gospels. And for me, that was a bit of an epiphany moment, the way that I had been brought up to read the Gospels. They are biographies. So in just the same way that I might pick up a biography of William Wilberforce and, and want to be inspired to live, um, to follow his example, one way that we can read the Gospels, and there are many different ways of approaching them, um, but he suggests is that we can pick up a biography of Jesus in Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, and I can read about Jesus' life and be inspired to copy him. And when I think about this insight in relation to the passage that we are looking at and the theme of, of this evening, I think John Mark Comer in that thought is spot on. Because when it comes to this episode of washing the disciples' feet, that is exactly what Jesus is asking us to do. He's saying, when I stoop down to wash the disciples' feet... I was setting you an example to go and do the same. And now I'm asking you, go out and love with the same love that I showed that night. What a tender, wild, sacrificial, humble love Jesus showed that night, wasn't it? Don't we have the most stunning servant king, Jesus? And he simply calls us. Come, follow me. Copy me. Come and do as I have done. And although I think it starts in the act of washing of feet, as we will, will do this evening, when Jesus is saying this to his disciples, I think he is also calling us to a life of foot-washing-shaped love. The love that looks like foot-washing. It might not always involve feet, but it will be a love that will look like the love that Jesus showed that night. I wonder, how does that make you feel as you hear those words of Jesus calling us to a life of love that we would stoop down and wash others' feet? Well, I'll tell you what comes to mind as I, as I think of his call to do that. This kind of love, it's not sentimental, it's smelly. Believe me, those disciples' feet, walking along those mucky first century roads, they would have smelt ten times worse than any of our lovely feet um, tonight. This kind of love, it's not glamorous, it's gritty. It's not self-seeking, it's self-forgetful. It's not obvious, it's hidden. And it's not at all fashionable. It's utterly countercultural. But did you notice that stunning little promise that was tucked into the passage as it was read? As we um, come to a close, you might like to just close your eyes if you find that helpful. As I read the words of Jesus, this promise to us. Jesus is speaking these words to us today as a promise that we can take hold of. And it's a promise of blessing. So listen to these words that Jesus said to his disciples that night. And he says to us now, as he calls us to show that same love. 
our Lord and Master says to us today, now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. Don't we have a kind master, a gracious master? He delights in blessing us. He can't help it. It's just who he is. And it might be unfashionable to show this kind of love in today's world, but he promises he will bring his blessing as we respond to his call. So you might like to just ask the Lord in the quiet of your heart, what would it look like for me to follow the words of our Lord and Master tonight and to copy his example? Maybe pay attention to people that might come to mind or places. What might this foot washing shaped love look like in our lives at the moment? As we finish, I'll lead us in a prayer.